Although the removal of Kalyan Singh as Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh was inevitable, a high-voltage political drama preceded his resignation. Mr. Kalyan Singh refused to come down to Delhi to meet the BJP High Command. Instead, he went off to Ayodhya, where he declared that abandoning the Ram Mandir issue was one major reason why the BJP fared badly in UP. However, the BJP High Command decided to postpone any change in the leadership, primarily because of the possible political fallout. Experts argued that with the ground reality of a caste-based politics dominating the state, the BJP could not ignore the fact that Mr. Kalyan Singh is a senior OBC leader with an impressive following in the party. Nevertheless, the clamour for the removal of Kalyan Singh had begun to snowball and some of the senior BJP state leaders camped in Delhi were hectically lobbying for this move. At the end, the BJP central leadership decided to bypass the claims of senior upper caste leaders and backed 75 years old Ram Prakash Gupta as Kalyan Singh's replacement. After sending signals, that he could revolt, the former CM relented and in fact even proposed the name of Mr. Gupta in the UP Legislative Party meet. Mr. Gupta was sworn in as Chief Minister along with a 50 member team. Critics are however sceptical whether Mr. Gupta will be able to carry the BJP and its allies for any long period of time. Experts also fear that in the eventuality of any further dissidents, the state could in fact even witness early elections. Kalyan Singh's brief revolt and his subsequent climb down notwithstanding, recent developments have cured the pitch for the BJP. Observers feel that in the coming months, this, the most populous state of the Indian Union, could well see further political alignments.